Um, thank you all for joining this morning. Um, I'm Taylor. I'm the marketing specialist specialist here at MSE Audio. Um, we have Jason here. He's the vice president of residential sales. And we also have Michael here. He is a product engineer. Um, with that, I'll hand it over to Jason and we'll get started. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, I want to thank everybody for being on this call. Uh, if you want to hit the next slide here. This is going to be the beginning of several new uh, webinars that we want to do to really uh, help uh, get the tools that you need out there as far as uh, uh, being able to offer a broader mix of solutions and products and and really appeal to the customers of, of what we do. So this is the introduction of our uh, Phase Tech Lux series co uh, collection. It's our premier Lux speakers and our uh, Power Lux subwoofers. Um, but we want to speak to things like customization, the support, the things that we do as a company, because you know, you as a, as a dealer, uh, you need the tools, uh, as many tools as possible to show uh, new solutions to your customers. You want to hit the next slide? So when I when we look at this, I, I you know, have been in the business for many years and I look at, you know, what is considered truly custom? Uh, I know as integrators, you're all kind of getting hit with the, oh, I could buy that on the internet. Thank you for telling me about it. Or, oh, thank you for turning me on. That's a real cool DIY product. And and, and it takes away the, the knowledge and the business that you've spent many years in doing. So what I look at is these are challenges that, that a lot of in integrators are, are facing right now is the DIY world of things. But also, too, uh, some dealers, uh, customers want something easy to use, but also uh, we want to find ways to help you with the next generation of solutions. Um, because right now, some people are getting, you know, they're watching phone uh, content on their phones or their tablets or you know, we want to make it more entertaining, uh, be a better part of the design. You know, we want to move away from the generic look. You know, you look at a white speaker grill, you don't know if it's a high quality, expensive speaker or if it's a, a commodity speaker that somebody bought off the Internet. So we want to be able to help you with creating new uh, ways to show your customers some other solutions. And part of that is going to be we want to help you be involved in the interior decorator, designer and architectural solutions, because the more you're involved in that aspect, the less it's about price. And we have to be appealing to these customers in these homes because we want to be able to help them in that design phase. And that's where we really start. So uh, you want to hit the next slide? So a little bit about the company. Uh, Mike, you want to touch on, uh, Mike, by the way, is our is our product engineer. He's, he's really good. I wanted to uh, have him here. He, he knows so much about our product, but also I want to be able to connect you with uh, not just Mike, but our other engineers on our team here that, you know, we listen to what our customers are asking for. And when I say that, uh, Mike, you want to start on some of the things that we've done as a company? Yeah, sure. Uh, like Jason said, my name is Michael uh, or Mike. I am on the engineering team here in our Lenexa, Kansas headquarters. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of take you through a little bit about how uh, we have been at the forefront of uh, the industry for decades and decades. Uh, we are a company of innovation, uh, and we have really taken pride in being the first to do many things that are now considered industry standard. So uh, probably the biggest and brightest feather in our cap is that we uh, invented and held the patent on the original soft dome tweeter, uh, which is seen everywhere. Uh, it, for many years, uh, people were using kind of hard tweeters, whether it was metal uh, and then once we started with the soft dome tweeter, it swept it swept the industry, uh, and and it's still being used almost everywhere uh, where where dome tweeters are concerned. Uh, we also built the world's first speaker using ferrofluid, which is very widely used uh, to this day. Uh, we invented the dog ear mounting clamps that are used in all kinds of in wall and in ceiling speakers. Uh, those ones that you kind of screw down and they flip out and then cinch up on the wall or the ceiling surface. Uh, we invented unicell acoustic treatment, which is that open cell foam that we use on the front baffle of many of our speakers, which helps to kind of reduce tweeter diffractions. Um, we introduced darts about 20 years ago or so, uh, the first all digital home theater system, uh, which to this day is kind of our top of the line uh, theater system that we offer. Uh, so we've, we've been at the forefront uh, of the industry as far as innovation goes, and we want to continue that. Uh, that that really allows us to uh, kind of keep skin in the game and and continue with, like Jason said, customization, doing things how we want to do it, uh, rather than kind of falling behind the crowd. So the reason that that is uh, something that we're able to do 
is because we are one of the few vertically integrated speaker manufacturers in the country. Uh, and what we mean by that is that we can design and manufacture essentially every component in the speaker system ourselves. Uh, so we build our own woofers, build our own tweeters, wind our own voice coils. Uh, we coat voice coil wire. We build crossovers. We cut, assemble, paint cabinets. We can do it all. And that really helps us to kind of meet the needs of our customers, not only as customization goes, but as far as just building out a product. Uh, rather than come up with a spec or kind of a framework for what we're looking for in a product, sending it to a vendor saying, often an overseas vendor saying, hey, what do you have that, that can kind of fit this? Getting a sample and being like, yep, that's, that's good enough for what we're looking for. We don't do that. We build the speaker from the ground up. We take it from step one to whatever step we end at in the finish line. So we know that in that final iteration, it's exactly how we want it to sound. It's exactly how we want it to look. Uh, it's, it's at the price point we want because we can take it through multiple iterations because we have that in-house control over every component in the system. And that allows us to, uh, to proudly yell the, uh, the made in the USA, which not a lot of companies can do these days. So here's a quick little overview of uh, some of the uh, more premier lines we offer under the Phase Tech brand. So in the top left there, we've got our darts collection. Uh, like I said, that is our all digital theater system. Uh, we will not really touch on that too much uh, in today's webinar. Uh, we'll focus more on a new line of our Phase Tech uh, speakers and subwoofers, but I did want to mention that as kind of a, an, another option we offer. Uh, we've got our Premier Lux in the dead center there. That is the new line of uh, full range speakers that we are that we are debuting. Uh, we've got the Power Lux subwoofers, which are in that same Lux family as the Premier Lux full range speakers. We've got the Teatro collection, which is sound bars and some other interesting. Uh, speakers, the custom install, which are the the real high end in wall uh, speakers that can be for just regular home audio. They can be for a theater setup. Uh, they're pretty versatile and they sound great. And they are they have just great made in USA quality. Uh, and then we've got our pro professional series collection, uh, which are great for whole home audio uh, at a great price point, easy to install. So we've got a little bit of everything, uh, and I'll take you through a couple different things here. Uh, so here is a even broader view of all of our residential offerings, essentially. So on the left, we've got our phase tech product line, uh, which I kind of touched on just a moment ago. On the, in the center there, we have the darts line, which is all the different form factors and uh, speaker types that we offer within our darts digital theater systems. And then on the far right, we have our uh, ultra high end induction dynamics speakers as well. So now I want to talk about our new Lux collection. Uh, this is something that we're really excited about because it has been several years since we released a new uh, real high-end Made in USA residential line. Uh, so on the left there, we've got our Premier Lux 150 bookshelf speaker, and on the right, our Power Lux 10-inch sealed subwoofer. So we'll go into some details of each one of these, uh, but to start, I kind of just want to highlight what, what is new about the Premier Lux, what is the same, why we, why we did it, really. Uh, so what we were hoping to do was to build off on our, uh, I guess, the history and the innovation of our of our past successes with our speakers, but also introduce a new look, a new style, uh, something that we haven't done before. So we didn't want to completely forget everything we know, uh, which is why some of you may notice that this looks very similar to the uh, PC 1.5 speaker from the Premier Collection. So relative to the Premier Collection, these new Premier Lux speakers they still use that same six and a half inch RPF uh, flat piston driver, uh, which sound great. Uh, but one of the things we did change is we moved from a one inch dome tweeter to an inch and an eighth dome tweeter, which helps with the power handling, uh, increases the dy dynamic range a little bit. So we still have that great sound that, that we've come to know and love from the Premier Collection. Uh, and then we put it in a new package. So as you can see, we've got a new design feature on the side there. Uh, it's a little bit more modern look than the uh, older Premier Collection speakers were. We do these high gloss finishes on them that look really, really nice in person. I mean, pictures just do not even do it justice. Uh, and that allows us to make really cool custom colors as well. So I'll kind of get into the specific speakers we offer. Uh, if you're familiar with that Premier Collection, uh, we essentially upgraded on each of those. So like the PC 1.5, the PC 3.5, PC 9.5. They all have a new version in the in the Lux collection. So on the left there, we've got our PL150, which is the 
uh, the new version of the PC 1.5, essentially. Uh, we've got an on-wall surround on the right there. They all come with the same six and a half inch woofer, that new inch and an eighth tweeter. Uh, they're very efficient. They have great frequency response. That PL 150 on the left there touches down below 40 Hertz. Um, they have great power handling and they look awesome. Uh, so next we've got our PL 350 and our PL 950, which are the, I guess, the next iteration of the PC 3.5 and the PC 9.5 with that same family look. Uh, they've got the, the great sound that you are used to with all the other products uh, that, and that PL 950, if you've never heard the PC 9.5s, uh, you've got to give these ones a listen. They, the low end on them is incredible for a speaker without a built-in subwoofer. I mean, they get down below 30 Hertz. Uh, and, and as far as towers go, they're one of the more interesting looking ones on the market. Uh, and, and we've already gotten great feedback from when we did show these at shows like CBA and things like that. So a little bit about the technology and the features that we're using in these new full range speakers. Uh, like I mentioned already, those RPF flat piston woofers. So this is something that we came up with many, many years ago, decades ago. Uh, and they, rather than a traditional woofer cone, they have a solid piston, uh, which is acoustically opaque, meaning the internal cabinet reflections are not able to pass through the cone, uh, which can usually cause uh, cancellations and comb filtering and things like that. Uh, and as well as the, it, it keeps them time aligned with the front of the baffle where the tweeters sit or the mid-range sits. Uh, we use absolute phase crossovers in all of our uh, phase tech speakers. And that is a technology that we came up with to essentially widen and maximize the quote sweet spot of the speakers. So whether you're off axis or on axis, it sounds smooth and it transitions great, whether you're horizontal to the speaker, vertical to the speaker, et cetera. Uh, and then, like I said, the new, the new aspect of these is the high gloss finish that, they, that we offer them in. So now we'll get into the subs. Uh, so there are four new models. There are two 10-inch models and two 12-inch models. Uh, each of the sizes has both a sealed version and a ported version. Uh, they have real distinct aesthetics. You can see that they have that same kind of family uh, design feature on the side. Uh, they have an integrated 900-watt peak power uh, DSP amplifier. The largest, the 12-inch ported version, goes down to 17 hertz. Uh, so it's essentially flat down to that point because uh, that's a minus 3 dB spec, not a minus 10 dB, which is fairly common in our industry. Uh, they play very, very loud. They go up to over 120 decibels. Uh, the amplifiers have a smartphone app uh, for both iOS and Android that allows you to control the volume, set the phase, uh, create custom EQs, set presets, all kinds of things. It's, it's a really easy to use app uh, that, that just enhances the experience with these. Uh, like the rest of the line, they're proudly made here in the USA, and we offer them in custom colors as well. And if you were able to uh, join us at CEDIA last month, you probably noticed that this very subwoofer was there, and that bright purple looks even better in person. So here we've got our two 10-inch subs. Uh, the one on the left is the sealed. That is the smallest form factor. It comes in just a little over one cubic foot. Uh, it goes down to 23 hertz, which is pretty impressive for a small sealed 10-inch subwoofer. Uh, it's got the same amplifier as the rest of them with all those same features, same inputs, same outputs, uh, which I'll get into a little bit later. And then on the right there, we've got the 10-inch ported version, which is a little bit of a step up, goes down under 20 hertz, uh, but same kind of look, everything about it. Then we've got the 12-inch versions. We've got a sealed version of that as well and the ported. The 12-inch ported is a monster. It is certainly not fun to carry around. Uh, it, it's got two ports on it. It goes down to 17 hertz, and it plays very, very loud. Uh, but like I said with these, you can see that they all still have that same feature. They, they match the Premier Lux full range speakers in their uh, design aesthetic, and they sound great. Some of the technology and the features we use in these, uh, we built very robust cabinets. Uh, they have a lot of bracing inside them. They are, they are not going to resonate much at all inside there. Uh, we have hand-built long throw woofers in each of these. They all have a front firing woofer uh, with excellent power handling, which allows them to play as loud and as low as we expect them to. Uh, they have the integrated DSP amplifier that I mentioned, the smartphone app, uh, and then by default, they come in a standard textured black finish. But like with that purple one, we can offer them in custom matte or high gloss finishes as well to uh, meet whatever design needs uh, you're going for. 
So here's a little illustration of the amplifier on the back. I will walk everyone through a few of the features on the back of it. Uh, hopefully you can read those numbers in red there, kind of identifying each of the features. Uh, so number one there, you just got your on off switch. Number two is your uh, AC power cord input. Nothing too special with those two. Uh, number three is the LED light on the amplifier. It does a couple different colors. So it will show whether it is powered on and ready to play, whether it's in standby, uh, whether it is currently connected to the smartphone application, things like that. Uh, number four, you've got your level adjustment knob. So that will adjust uh, in real time to any changes in the smartphone app. Uh, so if you are twisting the knob on the back, you can see the volume adjusting in the app as well. Uh, number five, we've got our standby mode. So in the on position, the sub will just stay on all the time uh, unless you flip that switch to off down below on number one. Uh, or in standby mode, it will essentially go to sleep after about 10 minutes of no signal, and then it will promptly wake back up once it detects signal again. Number six, we've got our inputs. Uh, we've got our balanced XLR inputs or our uh, right and left RCA inputs, uh, just pretty standard. So you can take the sub out of your receiver, put it right into there. Uh, but something interesting on these is they both have, uh, or they have both XLR out and RCA out. And so what you can do with that is you can daisy chain multiple subwoofers off of the, the primary one. So rather than coming out of your receiver and having to do a mess of Y cables and splitters and things like that, you can wire one subwoofer directly to the previous one. And so that kind of helps with, with the equipment you need. Uh, there's another benefit to that as well that uh, is part of the MSE sound app. So when you open this app, uh, it will go into the pairing mode. It will tell you to power up your subwoofer, make sure Bluetooth is on on your device, uh, your phone or your tablet or whatever you're using. And then once you go into the splash screen of that particular subwoofer, you're presented with the main menu, which you see here on the left. And you've got line output configuration, your crossover, manual EQ, phase, and then the about. So the line output configuration is pretty interesting. And that this kind of ties into those uh, outputs on the back of the amplifier as well. So what you can do with this is you can set one subwoofer as your primary, and then you can set one or more as secondary. And what that does is it allows you to set your configuration, your EQ, your crossover, all that, just for the primary, and it will apply the same to all of the secondary subwoofers in the chain. Uh, you can also treat them all individually if you prefer that, but this allows you to kind of do a one size fits all uh, for the whole chain of subwoofers. Another option is you can use it to run a sub satellite system. So you can set it to that wide range mode there on, on, the, uh, on the second image. And what that does is it will let you uh, configure the first one as the subwoofer, and then it will apply a high pass filter on those XLR or RCA outs, which you can take directly into another powered satellite speaker or straight into another amp, things like that. Uh, and then under the crossover menu, uh, you have your low pass filter there. Uh, which is adjustable in 20 hertz increments up to, I believe, 180 hertz. Uh, and then that far right image there is the manual EQ section. And you can choose all different kinds of filtering there. You can do parametric, you can do low shelving, high shelving, uh, band pass, and you can set them all to uh, different presets. So if you have maybe one preset that you want to use for when you're listening to music and one preset that you want to use when you're watching a movie, you can easily just quick, click through them in the... Uh, in the smartphone app here. And then at the top right there, you can see that radio button next to the manual EQ logo. And just with a tap of a button, you can enable or disable your manual EQ. So now, hey Mike, yes. before you go on that, uh, a couple questions that some of the people are asking is, uh, how many bands are on the EQ or available? That is a great question that I don't know off the top of my head. Okay, um, all right. I will make a note of that. See if I can we can find out. Also on energy savings uh, experienced on uh, when the unit goes into standby mode. Yes. Okay. And by the way, that that that's a that's a good question uh, that, that was asked on here. I don't know if some people know this, but when some amplifiers go in standby mode, some of their amplifiers are still actually uh, pulling current, and uh, that that becomes a it it, it becomes a, a little bit of a power pull uh, on some of those. So. That's so, something to always take a look at on, on our products. By the way, too, when we talk about our product being American made and we're a true speaker manufacturer, if you look at what we're doing as far as building subwoofers, building speakers, you saw the drivers that we do. Um, you know, I think that's the 
we're taking everything from the tweeter, the mid-range, the woofer, and making a really true voiced uh, speaker that, that sounds proper. And, and I say that because some companies can, you know, they'll source a tweeter here, they'll source a woofer here, and they'll kind of throw it together and try to build a crossover and go, well, it sounds good enough. It's also kind of like putting the wrong tires on your car. <laughs> There's certain things about it. And that's that's what we do as a as a speaker manufacturer is really try to focus on building the right product overall uh, when we look at speakers. Sorry, uh, Mike. No, go ahead. Not a problem. All right. So now I want to get a little bit more into uh, real real life customization. So this is not just something that we that we shout from the rooftops and say that we do. We actually do customize things. So right here, what you can see in these three photos, uh, in about a week or two ago, uh, we built out an order of 12 custom 18 inch subwoofers for a customer in India. Uh, and what they were looking for was an 18 inch subwoofer with a depth of 12 inches or less, which pretty much doesn't exist on the market. So what we were able to do in a matter of two weeks was get the spec that they were looking for, 18 inches depth of 12 inches or less, uh, design them, cut them, build them, paint them, fully assemble them, and get them shipped out all in under two weeks. Uh, so it, this is a, a real thing that we offer and something that we can actually do uh, to meet design needs like that. It, everything is done in our Jacksonville, Florida facility, so we don't need to wait on overseas parts or anything like that. Uh, everything is in-house uh, from the design to the assembly to the painting, everything. So customization is a real, real thing that we offer. And uh, we really just want to make it known that it's not just a myth. We really do this and, and we are happy to work with you to meet whatever needs you may have. And then one of the final things I want to go over here is our theater sound designer. Uh, this relates back to the darts digital theater systems that we were talking about previously. Uh, back in early 2022, uh, we were working really intently on this new web configurator tool that allows you to input a few parameters about your theater room or listening room or whatever it may be uh, from the, the listening distance, how far you're sitting from your screen, how many surround channels you want, uh, how loud you want it to play, what speaker type you want, whether you want box speakers, in-wall speakers, uh, freestanding speakers, on-wall speakers. And once you put in those four parameters, it will spit back out uh, all of the base systems that we offer that meet those needs. And then from there, the customization is up to you. If you want five surrounds and you want three of them to be on wall, two of them to be in wall, you can do that. If you want two overhead speakers, you can do that. If you want four, you can do that. If you want one in wall sub on the left and one freestanding sub on the right, you can do that. Uh, it's The customization is really up to you. And this is just a, a quick and easy way to kind of help you narrow down, here's where you should start with this Dart system. Uh, and so that can be found on our website uh, at mseaudio.com. And then you just click the theater sound page and that blue button right there, start building system now will come right up. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is our engineering support and customer service that we offer. So this is all as a complimentary service. We don't charge anything for this. Uh, some of you that have done commercial jobs with us in the past, uh, know that, that this is something we offer. We offer ease layouts for anything with a architectural drawing or even just a napkin sketch. Uh, we can kind of predict how our, how our speakers will sound in a given environment. We are happy to work with you on the layout. You can be as hands-on or hands-off as you choose. If you say you want this speaker model in this, this, and this spot, we'll put them there and show you what that might act like. If you say, I don't have a clue what speakers I need here, we'll do all the work for you as well. Uh, this can also be helpful for outdoor uh, situations or even home audio. We're happy to help you with placement guidelines for an outdoor area, uh, how many speakers you might need in a living room, things like that. Uh, just shoot us an email at engineering at msceaudio.com and we will work with you as much or as little as you are wanting uh, to help you design the system that you're looking for. And so with that, I will turn it back to Jason unless he has nothing else. Uh, yeah, if there's any questions, obviously uh, you have the chat function on the Q&A, so you can uh, uh, message us anything, any questions you might have. Um, these products, uh, the big thing that we try to do is, is, you know, we have really great local rep support. So if you hit our website at msceaudio.com, you can find one of our local reps. We also have really great distributor partners as well, too. So 
you know, reach out to any one of them. If you want, you can, you can call or, or email any of us and we'll be able to help contact you with, with any of our reps or our distributors to support any of the, the, the items that you need. Um, and that goes not just with our phase tech products, but we also have sound tube uh, for our commercial solutions and for acoustics for our outdoor solutions. So we have a lot of uh, different products for you that really cast a wide net, whether it be residential, outdoor, or commercial. And so that's our, our goal is to help you. And everything ships out of either our Jacksonville, uh, Florida facility or Kansas City. And uh, about 60% of our product is actually made and made, built, and engineered here in the United States. So, uh, but with that, if you got any questions, let us know. If not, we will um, email this out to everybody uh, that has signed up. So you'll get this video and maybe our, and our contact information as well, too. So if you got any questions, reach out to us or reach out to our reps or our distributors. We're here to help out. With that, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And, and hopefully uh, it was informative for you and have a great day.